Hey everyone, Jim Gonzalez, EDI Support here. I uh, want to go into uh, what are EDI mapping guides or specifications. Uh, it all depends on which way you look at it. So um, what I have brought up here is the Amazon Direct Fulfillment uh, Specifications or EDI Mapping Guides. So EDI Mapping Guides define the different transactions or documents. Um, you'll find in EDI, a lot of things have different two different terminologies. Uh, or multiple terminologies. So we'll call these documents or transactions. So you have your ASN or your advanced shipment notification, also known as an 856, your inventory feed, which is an 846, invoice 810, order acknowledgement 855, order request 850, or also known as purchase order. So if we take a look at these, these different things that they provided to us, uh, what we can see here is if I open up this PDF, this is the mapping guidelines. These mapping guidelines define what's going to be inside of this actual document. So an 850 has its mapping guidelines, which will tell you what standard it's using. So X12, the version inside of X12, which is 4010, and the transaction or document, which is the 850 or purchase order. Um, so you know, mapping guidelines, specifications, they can be used in EDI, they can be used in XML, they can be used in, they're just defining what's inside of that actual file, what version it's utilizing, those type of things. So when we're looking in the guidelines, it's gonna give us a definition of a segment. So segments, inside of a segment, there's the children, which are the elements. So this is your parent, then you have your children inside of there, which is your element. So here's our different segments. Each segment represents a different piece of information inside of the document. Um, if you get to learn these different segments, these segments might go across multiple documents. So if you're looking at an N1 in a purchase order or an N1 in a 856 or an advanced ship notice, it's defining loop or name information name, address, those type of different things. So if you learn the segments, and they might go across multiple different documents. So it's good to learn those different segments as you get further involved into EDI and how to process EDI. So those are all your different segments. As we go down further into this, it's gonna give us our what's called looping structure or how something is utilized. If it's a must use, if it's used, um, some also will state optional, some will state not used. Uh, it all depends on the guidelines. And again, as time goes on, you get to learn these various different things. You get to see how many times would it repeat. So you could have this SAC up to 25 times. So you get 25 iterations of an SAC, a uh, thousand iterations of an N9, 200 iterations of an N1. But it'll go down further, and now we're getting a breakdown into, so segment, so ISA is the segment, here's our elements, so ISA 01. This defines what's contained in an 01 and what it stands for. So again, it gets a little, com a little convoluted, a little bit more complex as we get further into read a reading a mapping guideline and following through for how things are handled and how things are utilized. So as you can see, it may define if something is mandatory or not mandatory. Um, you'll see that inside of your mapping guidelines. You'll see min and max, so maximum size. You'll see the type that's inside of an element. Um, there's a lot of different things inside of these mapping guidelines that are gonna define for each of the documents. The beauty is, if you use a company and we're your partner, EDI support, this is what we know how to do. We know how to read these guidelines from our years of experience, understand what's contained inside of a document to get us through our standard testing that we would need to utilize. So if this looks like a bunch of mumbo jumbo that makes absolutely no sense, just know um, this is what we do. This is part of the work that we are taking on for you as being your partner when it comes to processing and handling. So mapping guidelines can get a little 
um, hard to read, convoluted, um, different things. But as our as your partner, we help you with this. So just know mapping guidelines are defining what's used in a, in a document, what that document it is, versions, the type of standards that it's using, segments and elements, um, and those type of things inside of the guidelines. If you have any questions, please reach out. Um, we're here to help you out and take this burden off your shoulders.